hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is linda if you're just stopping by you're welcome so today i'll be sharing with you guys how to make this cute palazzo so guys the first thing i'm going to do is to roll a starting line at the top of my fabric like so and i'm just going to start from there at 1.5 inches i'm just going to go upwards by this point at 1.5 inches and i'll be taking my measurement from there so next thing i'll be taking is my hip line after that i'll be taking my crotch line then I'm going to be ruling a line to connect them like so. And the fabric is unfold as well. So after that, I went down by 4 inches at this point for my tie line. So this is for my tie. I'm just going to connect that as well. After which, I'm going to be taking the measurements for my hips. My hip circumference divided by 4 plus 1 inch, so in allowance. So I'm just going to be using my ruler to connect it down to the crotch line. After which I'm going to be measuring 2.5 inches here for the crotch. So you can also make it 3 inches or 2 inches depending on your size. So I'm just going to be connecting the line upwards like so. And from there I'm going to be taking the measurement for my waist circumference. I'll be marking quarter of my waist circumference. plus one inch for the dart and plus extra one inch for the stitching allowance so I'm just going to be using my ruler to connect from that point to the side like so at my hip line after that the next thing I'll be doing is to connect the crouch line I'll be making the shape like so you can use a free hand or you can better still use your curved ruler so next I'm going to be taking uh, my tie circumference divided by two plus one inch and I'll be ruling that as well. And the next thing I did is to take the length of my trouser, starting from that 1.5 inches I gave for the band. So I'm just going to be taking the length like so. And I'll be marking that plus extra one inch for the hemming allowance. And I'll be ruling that across with my ruler. Next, I'm going to be ruling a straight line for the inner seam line like so. And I'm just going to be using my curved ruler to curve this part like so too. So I'll be placing my curved ruler to give it a little shape at the sides. Then I'll be straightening it up with my ruler. After that, next thing I did was to go upwards at the crotch line. I took the distance between this point at the crotch line and I got the midpoint like so. So I'll just go ahead and mark out the midpoint and I'll be using my ruler to connect it like this. So I also went ahead to determine my dart intake using my bust span measurement and I'll be adding half inches as well to that. Then I'll be connecting from there to the midpoint where I marked earlier with my straight ruler. Then the next thing I'm just going to do is to come down at the dart intake by three and a half inches and I'll be connecting that by measuring half inch on both sides of the dart and I'll be ruling them. If you haven't subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notification bell as well. Next, I'm just going to be trimming out this excesses at the top of the fabric. So the part where you see me trimming out is not really inclusive. Now I'm just going to be going inwards at this part at the inseam so I could give it a little bit fitting. After which I'm just going to connect the lines properly and I'll cut them out. Now that my front piece is ready, I'm just going to be using it to cut the back piece. So now I folded my back piece way more wider than what I have for the front piece earlier. And I will be marking out measurement like this by going upwards at this point by 1.5 inches. And I'll be coming out as well by 2 inches. So guys, just pay attention and see what I'm doing. So I'll be marking 2 inches all the way down from the crotch, down to the sides from the tie. I'll be marking two inches all the way down 
and I'll be connecting the lines as well. So at this point, I'm just going to be slanting my line like so. I'm just going to be getting what I have for the front piece. I have 9.5 inches and I'm making sure to ensure that I have 9.5 inches for the back piece as well. So the next thing I did was to draw out a slant line. This is to enable the pants to look fitted around the butt. Now I'm just going to go down and mark the hip line. From there, I'll be using my curved ruler to draw out the line for the back piece. So I've shaping it up and now I'm just going to cut it. So now that I'm done cutting out the back piece, I'm just going to be measuring what I have here for the darts. I have 5 inches here and I'm making sure to add it as well for the back. So I'll be marking 5 inches as well for that part. And I'll be connecting it downwards by 4 inches for the back darts. Now I'm just going to rule it with my ruler and also measure out the dart intake by 0.5 inches on both sides. Now I'll be connecting it to my ruler as well. And that's basically all for that. So I will be notching this to make sure I don't make mistakes when I'm sewing the darts. And I'm just going to go over to my machine and I'll be stitching the crouch area like this by 0.5 inches all the way down. And I'll be repeating the same thing for the back as well. After I'm done stitching the crouch, I went ahead to sew the darts for the back piece and the front piece as well. Now that my both sides are ready, this is how the back piece looks like. So I made sure to attach the darts and stitches, very neat. Then I also did the same thing for the front by cross-checking what I have. I'm just going to be placing the both sides, right sides to right sides, facing each other like so. And I'm just going to be attaching them on both sides. So I'll just go ahead to my machine and I'll align this part like this and I'll make sure to stitch like this all the way down and I'll repeat the same thing for the other side as well. Next thing I did was to include my zipper at the sides. So I just measured 8 inches downwards from the waistline like this and I will be moving the seams I made there initially just for my zipper. And next I'm just going to be aligning the crotch area like this and I will be stitching them all the way down like this at the inseam and also repeat the same thing for the other parts. Now I'm done attaching everything in the seams. I'm done sewing the side seam and the inseam. I'm just going to head to fold the hem like this twice like so and I'll, and I'll hem it and cut out the band. For the band, I decided to measure 2 inches band because I have 1.5 inch for a band. I added 0.5 inches for joining allowance. And this is how it looks like. This is the outcome. I also added a button for my band. Here is the zipper area and this is the band. See how beautiful it's looking. So guys, if you are yet to subscribe, do so by hitting the subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.